name is Fiona Kernan. I'm working at the European Research Council in Brussels and uh, I speak uh, both French and Spanish. When I was doing my PhD in, in Trinity, it never crossed my mind that I would need languages. I think I thought that I would go on to maybe an academic career and uh, English is very much uh, the, the common language in science. But uh, where, as my PhD was coming to an end, I realised that maybe I'd like to take a different route. And without speaking other languages, I mean, the scope is quite limited. Well, my name is Thrace Cronin, and I studied human genetics here at Trinity. I got involved with, in collaboration with various groups internationally. And I was very interested in lab in Paris. And I had my school French. I was equipped with my school French. So I went off and um, decided to start working in science in, a, in this laboratory in France. In work, uh, English is the language that's used, but to operate, to go to shops, to go to the doctor, to go to the supermarket, you needed to have French. I was dealing every day with technicians and with other people in the lab who are just, the day-to-day -day lab life, it was all in French. All the small talk was in French. All the little bits of information that didn't come out in lab meetings, that was all in French. So it became essential that I improved the school French I had, but already it was, I had a good basis, so that helped me a lot. Once you're qualified, say, as a researcher here in Ireland, I think most people need to look abroad to get extra experience, extra postdoctoral experience, further uh, postdoctoral training. And if you don't have languages, I think it shuts off many excellent laboratories to you. And you could go, for example, to Germany, and even if the scientific language of, say, writing manuscripts and going to conferences is, Eng is English. If you want to live, for example, in Munich uh, and work in the lab, I mean, you'll have to have some German to be able to communicate with, with technicians, uh, to live in the city, and I think it's quite critical. Well, languages versus STEM, as we call it, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, it's not an either-or. If you really want to future-proof your job prospects, you combine the two. Again, if we look at the job websites, a combination of technical skills and a language are more or less going to guarantee your future employability for the foreseeable future. There's so much you learn in school that you don't really carry on, really. But a language you do, it's just invaluable. It makes the, all the difference to your lifestyle and your quality of life. If someone wants to have a skill that they'll always be using, learning a language is certainly the one.